We are now entering Maya's brand new bedroom. joining us today we have had some serious bedroom swapping going on at our house again Maya tell us where did you move from where are you now I was sharing a room with Addie and then I recently moved up back upstairs that's right she was sharing with Addie in the basement and now you're upstairs but are you in your old room nope I'm in the <laughs> other room Maya is now in Addie's old room which was pink, but now it's been transformed into Maya's bedroom. So you wanna show me your bedroom? Yes. All right, we're gonna show you Maya's bedroom, then we're gonna show you Addie's new reimagined bedroom. We are now entering Maya's brand new bedroom. Woo, what do you think, Maya? I love it so much. Yes. Here I am. <laughs> I'm digging your mirror, Maya. So what's around your room? What else do we have in here? So this is my bed over here. And then I have two little poofies, which were from my Natty's room downstairs where we brought them up. Yeah, so the last time you saw this room, the walls were bright pink. And what type of bed was in here? A loft bed. A big white loft bed. So we've had a lot of changes in this bedroom. I have a giant drawer of stuffed animals. All right, show us your stuffed animals. She does have quite the collection. So Stuffed many. animals galore, Maya. <laughs> now, out of all those, do you have a favorite? Yes, I do. What one is it? I have two favorites. Tramp. Oh, those are old but good ones. You've yep. had those for years. Yep, and they're my favorite. Now the reason we switched rooms is because we used to have an 11 year old sweet little foster girl with us but you may have seen our video where we had to say goodbye to her a couple months ago when she went off to live with family. So this room opened up again and Maya decided to head back upstairs. Now she's not in her old room though. Right now we still have a 12 year old foster uh, sibling in the, my old room and so now I'm in this room which was also Addie's very old room <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> and I just have to add that I'm so proud of Addie and Maya for just being so generous with their rooms that they are willing to move around and shuffle and haul things up and down the stairs to welcome kiddos into our homes. That takes a generous spirit to do that. What's your favorite part of your new bedroom? My favorite part Okay, is... you gonna lead us there? Right over here. Okay, what is it? My desk. Your desk. That is a nice space over there. I love it because I like to do art. Yes, I can tell you have all your art supplies over here and some beautiful drawings on your board over there. Yep. Looks like you're a bit of a fashion designer, Maya. Do you have a future career as a fashion designer? Possibly. <laughs> Now we've given you a sneak peek into Maya's new bedroom, but do you think we should show them Addie's new space? Yep. Because if you remember when we redid the whole bedrooms, Maya's bed was down in the basement room, and then this dresser was down there as well, and these little white puffs were down there, so we've cleared out a lot of space from Addie's big giant basement room that used to be our guest room, and so we've had some fun kind of repurposing Addie's room. Should we go show them? Yep. All right, Maya's gonna lead the way. Down the first flight of stairs, and then over to the basement stairs. Right through this door. Right this way, and down we go. This is usually how we find Addie in her room, mm -hmm. curled up. Book. With a good book. Addie's mm -hmm. my, my reader. Mm -hmm. Can you show us around your room? Yeah, sure. So over here, I have my bed. Then I have my closet over here. And then over <laughs> here, <laughs> I have a little seating area with all my books and all my horse show numbers and some of my ribbons that I won from shows. And then over here, <laughs> I have 
have a gaming setup where I film my videos for XOXO Gaming. Yes, Addie lucked out with the giant king size bed because this used to be a guest room and we just still have the giant bed in here. Mm -hmm. But our favorite part of Addie's new bedroom is her little lounge area. I will sit here and read a lot. <laughs> the I'm couch is very comfy. <laughs> <laughs> and the sofa pulls out for... A sleeper sofa. So you can have all the sleepovers down mm -hmm. here. Maya and our 12 year old girl like to join you down here for sleepover parties, don't they? Mm-hmm. You look cozy. I am cozy. <laughs> cozy couch. And since Addie is our horse rider, we have all sorts of horse memorabilia around. Wanna show us some stuff, Addie? These are all my ribbons I got from horse shows. Actually, I have a few of them over there because they didn't fit. <laughs> but I have like eighths up here, seventh, sixth, fifth, fourth, third, second, first, reserve champion, and champion. It's a lot of ribbons. Mm -hmm. And then what are these over here? <laughs> these are my show numbers. So basically, they're like the judge's way of keeping track of you. You put it, you tie it to the back, to your back, so then once you're done with your flat class, you line up in the center of the ring with your back turned to the judge, so the judge can see your back and your show number, and then they'll announce the winners. And we've got horse books, of course, and many horse pictures in the room. And this one is probably my favorite. It's so cute. So their rooms are still a work in progress. But they're looking pretty cool. Mm -hmm. What is it like having the basement back to yourself? It's kind of nice. I mean, <laughs> sometimes I get kind of lonely because there's not as much company as there was. Mm -hmm. But then I think because Maya was down here for how long? For yeah, like. I mean, six maybe six months, I don't even know, honestly. But she's Somewhere. been down here for quite a few months, so mm -hmm. now she's got a big space mm -hmm. all to herself. It took a while to figure out what to do with the empty <laughs> space. Yes. But we figured it out. It looks good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now that you've seen the new bedrooms, we're going to head back upstairs because we actually have a fun event we're hosting at our house in just like 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. to our house. Camp Radio Crew. Camp Radio Cast. cast. <laughs> Who's coming? Scoops. Who's Scoops? <laughs> you don't know who Scoops is? He's hungry always. <laughs> You're right. Scoops is a character from Camp Radio who is always hungry. Do you think he's gonna like our popcorn bar? Uh. Do you think he'll like the popcorn bar? Uh. But you know what Scoops' real name is? What? Lance. We're having all the kids from Camp Radio over to our house in just a little bit for a cast party where we're gonna watch all episodes of Camp Radio together. Only about half of them have been released so far, so it'll be the first time for a lot of these kiddos to get to see all 10 episodes. Maya, if our viewers wanna watch Camp Radio, where can they see it? the Camp Radio channel and there should be a link somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's right guys, if you wanna watch Camp Radio, which of course you do, you cannot find it on Tic Tac Toy or Tic Tac Toy Family. It is only available on our Camp Radio channel. You're gonna love the videos, you're gonna fall in love with the characters, so please head over there and binge watch all the episodes that have already been released and then hang tight because every Saturday we are releasing new ones. Oh. Maya, are you eating all of our popcorn toppings? No. <laughs> we gotta save them for the popcorn. We gotta save them for the popcorn. I can see you. I can see you, sneaky little ones. <laughs> for additional batches, repeat steps three. I have no idea what I'm doing, Lucy. <laughs> We've rented a popcorn machine because I figured we can't have like a viewing party not have popcorn. Um, so we're trying to figure out the popcorn machine before everybody gets here. So wish us luck. Can you figure out the popcorn machine, Colin? Yep. I have no idea. I what do we do? Get Sandy. Sandy. Sandy wants popcorn. I think you put the popcorn in here. It was in there somewhere. It's going! That's making a lot. And I think our first car just pulled up. Who do we think it is? Who's the first cast member here? I don't know. Mm, 
Will it be Walker, or Lance, or Gabriel, or Riley, or Julia? I don't know. Let's go see! Everyone is trickling in and I think we officially have the entire cast of kiddos here. It's about time to start the camp radio viewing party and all the kids are missing. So I'm gonna go down to the basement because I have a feeling they're in the playroom. I had a feeling you guys would be in here. <laughs> seen camp radio yet i want to make sure you know who all the cast is who all the kids are so we're gonna do a quick Woo! intro again Yay! we have miss lizzie Hi. what's your real name riley riley mm -hmm. we've got riley who plays lizzie and this is julia and i play aria cantrell that's right and you appear in the last episode but we haven't met yes. you yet yeah so we'll today, soon right? to come yeah about the watch party today yes that should be exciting and we have Luke <laughs> here who put your real name uh, Lanz. L A N Z. L A N Z. Colin was excited for you to come because he thought Scoops would love the popcorn bar. Really? <laughs> Brian is your character name. What's your real name? Gabriel. Gabriel. And then we have DJ PJ played by. So, my name is Walker. Walker. And I think you know Addie. Hi. What's up? <laughs> is it time? Yeah. All right. Yeah. I will say I am very proud of all the kids and all of your involvement in this series. You all did a fantastic job. This came out above and beyond our expectations. Thank you, Kyler, for I present to you <laughs> season one, episode one of Camp Radio. has begun they're currently watching episode one and it is just such a joy to have these people in our house i hope you guys can see when you watch camp radio i hope it becomes evident to you just how incredible all these kids are the directors here one of the assistant directors it was just an absolute joy to work with these people they will be our friends and a part of our lives forever and we hope that just radiates when you watch the episodes and you can just see um, just what an incredible group of people these are. I can't wait to see what surprises we have in store for next summer. Hello? We just finished wrapping and it was the first time you guys have seen all the episodes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think of the finale? It was so good. Oh my gosh, it was well, so well, like, um, that that Ari <laughs> The script actually had to be reworked on the very last day of filming because what happened, guys? We couldn't stop crying. Yeah, yeah, yeah so Kyler, it was well, just, you it got it, to the point that we kept going, going and it was happy spirit. We got all one tear from Walker. Right, yeah, yeah, Walker cried. Everyone was crying. Yeah, 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 Full weeks together. I got over 120 and hours. Over 120 days. hours. You guys became best buddies. I mean, it was pretty incredible. Everyone broke down in tears, so we had to get really creative. And the director had to kind of rework the ending because people were too too much in tears to finish the script how it had planned. Final thoughts, guys. So it's incredible. Good. So love it. Watch so it. Good. I love it. So You're so gonna, gonna love it. it. Subscribe. Oh, I'm gonna love it so much. <laughs> and. Um, you're gonna hug me. <laughs> Stay tuned for episode eight. Scoops is oh, crushing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Scoops has a crush. Scoops has a crush. Not to be a spoiler, but. Stay tuned for episode eight.
Oh, Camp Radio, being in the city like 